This video will briefly present how to share or synchronize content from the Commotion ELN with other people. Content which has been created in the electronic laboratory journal Commotion ELN, such as chemical compounds or reactions, can be made available to others. In this context, we differentiate between the options sharing and synchronization. At this point, the following information should be highlighted. People with whom entries are supposed to be shared and synchronized must have access to the same commotion instance. To share selected items, click on the light blue icon in the upper action bar. As a result, a new window containing various options will open. Not only is it possible to adjust the degree of access for different elements in Commotion, but also to specify the level of disclosed details for reactions, samples, and so on. Finally, enter the individuals or groups with whom to share the content. Search for relevant people either by entering the person's name or the person's initials used in Commotion. As a result of the sharing process, a separate shared collection will be generated, which can be accessed on the column on the left. In the same column, directly underneath, you have access to any collections that have been shared with you. Please note that there is an essential difference between sharing and synchronization. When items, for example collections, are shared, this specific data is passed on as a sort of snapshot. Alterations of the shared data will be transmitted as well. However, items which are added after the content has been shared will not be passed on. Hence, if additional items are added to a collection after sharing, this new content will not be displayed in the shared collection. In Commotion, the term synchronization means that you are sharing an entire collection which synchronizes all subsequent changes and passes them on. Synchronization passes both alterations of previously existing content as well as newly added content. To synchronize content, first open the configuration menu of the collection by clicking on the red gear icon. Then, select the blue sharing symbol next to the collection you intend to synchronize. As a result, a new window will open which gives access to the synchronization settings. This is similar to the configuration menu for sharing. Here, you can define individuals and groups with whom the collection should be shared. In addition, access privileges can be specified which determine to which extent individuals are permitted to access the content of the collection. For each of the categories, meaning samples, reactions, well plates, and screens, you can also clearly specify which exact elements are made available during the synchronization process. The precise meaning of the different options or the access permission level will be explained in detail in a separate video.